gonna arrest your ass. So Seattle has elected Jenny Durkin as mayor. She is the second woman mayor in Seattle's history. It's been 90 years since we had another one, Bertha Knight Landis. Seattle was still a frontier town in the 1920s. Vice was a huge piece of Seattle's economic prosperity. Prostitution, gambling, illegal booze. The money went upstairs and everybody got a little piece of it along the way, including Seattle policemen. This is William Severance, the police chief. He's wearing a badge and gee, it's the same badge that we have over here. Within his first uh, couple of days in office, he was presented with a solid gold chief's badge with a diamond in the middle of it. They were trying to say, welcome to the police department. You're the chief, but you're really not in control. She was determined to clean that up. Bertha was elected to city council. She became president of the city council. And during the time the mayor was out of town, Bertha became mayor in his place. The police chief had not moved quickly enough on police reform for Bertha. She fired him. The mayor raced back to Seattle, reinstated the police chief, and that helped fuel her campaign two years later. She said she would shoot, without benefit of clergy, anybody calling her mayoress. She was elected mayor in 1926, the first female mayor of a major American city. One of the first things she did was fire Severance, the police chief. So she fired him twice. <laughs> what fascinates me about Bertha is how thick that glass ceiling was. It's not until 2017 that we elect the second woman mayor. She was part of the group to force the Seattle Police Department to make reforms in terms of use of force and public oversight. Law enforcement is a big piece of any mayor's job, and hers in particular. Welcome to uh, the Mossback Den, where we're gonna get to talk about interesting aspects of local history. Hang on, I gotta get a picture of what we're doing here. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs>